Hello again, welcome to another episode of I and I. Of course, it's your girl Regino, and it's officially been three months of this spiritual journey. So thank you so much for joining me. This week I actually wanted to look at First Peter chapter 4, verse 8. Above all things, have intense love for one another, because love covers a multitude of sins. Okay, so above all things, choose love. But not just love for oneself, love for others. I think it's such a powerful statement because, especially in this day and age, I think we use the term love so loosely. You know, you go and have a nice meal and you say, I love the chef, I love this food, I love cake, I love walking by the beach or in the park. You know, and we talk about love so loosely and all the things that we love and we tend not to focus on the love for someone else which the scripture is saying is the most powerful and most important thing is to show love to others so i had to look of course into the description of love a little bit more and i'm sure some of you are familiar with it or some parts of it because it's a famous saying that's found in corinthians so let's look at that really quickly love is patient and kind Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. I'm definitely going to study this verse. Like I need to know this from hand to foot back to end front to end any which way and have in my arsenal because i feel as though i could use this definition to apply myself in so many ways in every aspect of my life i know that a lot of times you know when you're faced with some kind of struggle or have some kind of tribulation people say ask what jesus would do and if jesus is god in flesh you could say ask what god would do and if God is love, you could ask what love would do. For instance, if I am feeling lousy, I can say, you know what? Love bears all things. If I am in traffic and somebody's taking forever to turn and I know I'm going to miss the light, I can say, love is patient. If my best friend, you know, talk bad about me or behind my back, I can say love is not resentful. So I no longer have to worry about what it is that I need to do if I use this definition of love to apply to my circumstances in life. The problem comes now is having the action behind the thoughts because it's easier said than done, right? Use love, think love, ooh, sunshine. But it's much harder to practice love, right, for others than anything else. You know, when was the last time that you felt irritable? Or the last time you felt resentful or lousy or, you know, upset or impatient. I can tell you, yesterday, for me, about three of those, definitely. <laughs> and I was such, you know, a big believer of thinking I knew love and I'm showing love and I'm always this loving person. And some attributes of love, yes, I do encompass, you know, I try and always be kind and think of others, but there are so many other areas of love that I am definitely not as strong as I need to be on. And if I can stop focusing on myself and the things I love, because that's satisfying me, you know, we use love so, so much when it talks about what we love and what we like and we really need to start focusing on how we can show love to others and not just in word and not just in feeling you know you have the flutters in your stomach and i love you it's not just about the feeling it's there yes but the action is far more important you know there's somewhere else in the bible i think it's in james I believe so in james where you know he speaks something to do with having faith and without, without action, faith is dead. Something like that, don't quote me word for word. But basically it was talking about a person who, you know, needed clothes and possibly some food. And you with your good faith, you know, tell the man, go on your way, be in peace, be clothed. God will provide, you know, the food. You will be fine. And basically send the man on his way and didn't do anything to help the person. 
So the scripture was saying, you know, listen, somebody comes to you for help, help them. You know, it's not just about having faith that God will provide. Like you have extra clothes, you have extra food, feed him, clothe him, keep him warm. And that's where that love and taking action comes into place than just thinking it and feeling it and having faith. So that's where I'm at now. I'm going to study this word for word and see if I can apply this to every circumstance in my life. And that's the activity for this week to see if you can write out that tribulations, those tribulations or struggles you might be having and look at the definition of love and see how you could apply one of those attributes to the struggle that you're having. And then do it. Not just thinking, not just feel it, but then do it. All right? That's all I have for you this week. I definitely enjoy this journey with you. And I hope to see you again next week. All right. Take care. Bye.